The Honourable Member from Central Okanagan, Similkanin Nicola. Mr. Speaker, after eight years of this NDP Liberal government, grocery and home heating bills continue to rise, as do rent and mortgage payments. Scotiabank has said that inflationary government deficits are to blame. If our de deficit maker in chief was to show fiscal responsibility, it would drop interest rates by 2% and save the average family $700 a month off their mortgage. Does the Prime Minister understand that his deficits are making it difficult for people to afford basic necessities like food and housing? Or does he think that all Canadians are auditioning for Les Mis? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I would like to remind the member opposite and perhaps inform the House that this morning Statistics Canada indicated that inflation has dropped yet again in this country. It is now at 3.1%. among all G7 countries, and with respect to the report that my honourable colleague cites, that report indicates that it is actually provincial spending, not federal, and COVID supports that are the result of the statistics that he's citing. Mr. Speaker, the facts are important. The Honourable Member from Central Okanagan, Samilkameen Nicola. Mr. Speaker, if we all quiet down, you can already hear the fiscal engines in the background starting to rev up, as the only solution for inflationary spending for this Prime Minister is more inflationary spending. The Conservative leader has challenged the Prime Minister to stop his carbon tax hikes, reduce his deficits, and build homes, not bureaucracy. Will they address these issues in their mini-budget today, or will they reject this common-sense plan and show that the only thing that isn't subject to rising inflation in Canada is the competence of this NDP Liberal government. Yeah, yeah, yeah.